Kids, 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 motherfuckers. So in case you hadn't noticed, Daddy gets his daughter in today. Pow, pow. The obituary slowly we rot logo. And brand new shirt. Now, a couple weeks ago, it was my 41st birthday. And as always, from my mom, she usually gives me some money. And then I got some money from the in-laws. So, I put it in order. With Relapse Records. Now, obviously, that's not all I got. And I got a couple other bits. And with that, I'm just about done with part of a collection. So what I'll do is I'll first start off with one tape that I got. And I got three tapes. Because being Canadian and ordering things from the States with conversion rate, it could be slightly expensive. There's no thrash today. This is all death metal. Mm. Some of you guys are probably like, oh, he's finally getting some more death metal. Good. So I know Mark G with a C will enjoy this. I got Exhumes Death Revenge on cassette. This is a 2017 release. And if you look at that fucking artwork, how does that not kick severe, gory, fucking brutal, fucking just filthy old dirty death metal? Um... And I believe this is a re, uh, re I can't even tell. I'm not sure if it's a reissue or if it's like just like, well, probably not a reissue. I mean, obviously, if it's just a 2017 release, it's probably just got put on cassette over the last couple of years. See, they don't uh, see that. The cool thing on these tapes now is that they're actually putting the fucking logo on it. And the and and I think this actually looks cooler, to be honest. Yeah, so sorry, not not a reissue because Trevor's stupid. Um. 2017 release, it issued, and or I guess released as well, obviously, on cassette, uh, CD, and I believe vinyl as well. Yeah, and of course, Michael, uh, Michael Burke, or Bud, on lead and rhythm guitars, uh, voice of William Burke, obviously there's a bit of a thing here, uh, voice of Dr. Robert Knox, narrator is Matthew Harvey. Rhythm and lead guitars, as well as vocals. Um, bass guitar, Ross Sewage is on bass guitar, and also the voice of William Hare, William Hare, the narrator, and Michael Hamilton, percussion. That's fucking killer. That is fucking killer. And, of course, here's here's the actual cover outside of the, the actual cassette. Now, this, I believe, is based off a true story. Or this whole record is off of, uh, yeah, Death Revenge Overture, uh, Grave Makers of Edinburgh and the Anatomy Act of 1832. Because, like I said, I think I think this is actually based off of uh, legit sh le legit stuff. Mark, I don't know if Mark's if Mark happens to watch this, maybe he can kind of fill me in on this. So I got home, I got this from work, but I had a couple things I had to do tonight. Uh, so I took the kiddo out and. The wife went and did a meeting for school for uh, the kids' school and all that jazz. Nothing bad, all good. Um, so I'm going to open up the other two because the other two are by are by the same band. Now I originally wanted to go and get some stuff off a twenty bucks spin because I had originally wanted to get uh, two mold uh, planetary clairvoyance and I also wanted to get um, manners of infinite forms. But it was either that it was either that order, and I had a shirt. I can't remember what. I think I had. I think I had matters. Ma, uh, matter of infinite form, uh, long sleeve. I had ordered along with a couple other tapes. But I had remembered. I was like, you know what? I would really like to get a couple of these death cassettes. 
And frankly, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the desktop because I can always order from 20 bucks bin later. And really, the pricing was actually not too bad on either or. Uh, shipped to the door with conversion, I had, it was like 85 bucks. It's not bad. So, the, the other cassettes are Death, Individual Thought Patterns, um, amazing record. This is what I would classify as pissed off, Chuck. Um, this is a part of, uh, this was the 2011 reissue. Um, but of course, these just, just come, I think these just came out on cassette not that long ago. So the album is, the, all the albums were done and they've been, been re-released on a couple different vinyl, um, iterations, the splatter, uh, the butterfly. The only splatter I have right now is, uh, Screen Bloody Gore. And I'm, I'm sure if you go back through, you'll notice, uh, my death ranking and the other three, no, two. Yeah, because the other two are human and uh, alter. No, not alters, man. There's fucking spiritual healings, and they're both on the butterfly. So yeah, individual thought pattern. Uh, this come, and I think all of these actually came on white cassettes. Now it's obviously you don't get the actual death logo on here, but still, it's pretty cool. Um, it almost seems to me like like it's a lot. It feels flimsier than normal, but that's okay. And of course, open it up. It's got some pictures of the boys and as well as Chuck and, you know, the boy, the boys in the band at the time. Um, yeah, because Andy, Andy LaRock was on this. Uh, Steve Giorgio, uh, Gene Hoagland and Chuck himself, obviously. This, yeah, this was, uh, this was, this was pissed off Chuck. Obviously recorded at and mixed at Morris Sound Studios. If you know Death, you know this is an amazing record. Um, the whole discography is, and uh, let's see here. I can go back just real quick on that Death, ex or the Death. Just trying to remember where this was recorded at. Oh yeah, this so this was done at uh, New Constellation uh, RMP in Orlando, Florida. Okay, so back to death. Yeah, so there's that individual thought patterns, and had this had shown up last week, this would have made the live stream leprosy. Um, I had, I was, uh, I was really thinking, do I get this or do I get Sound of Perseverance? And I'm like, no, I got to get this. Um, my opinion of this has changed dramatically. Um, I think if I was to re-rank the discography, I would probably have this still at, I probably, it, I had this at number three and I would probably put it now at number two. Um, and it almost might even make number one at this stage because um, it's an amazing record. I've spent far more time with this record than I ever did before. And I think at that, I think at that stage it would either be one or two and human might go number two, but it's still like, that's the thing like between this here and of course I'm going to take it out because as you do, like, these two records here are probably the most flawless that, or these two albums here are the most flawless that the band has been. Um, in terms of songwriting, because see, this here's this here, this here's still Evil Chuck, and Human is sort of, uh, Human is more along the lines of that sort of real slow into integration into progressive, and of course, this is this is this is pissed off, Chuck. But there's still obviously enough, um, you know, progression in there as well. I mean, in human form, overactive imagination, mentally blind, individual thought pattern, subtle track, out of touch, the philosopher trapped in a corner, nothing is everything. I mean, it's fucking killer. You guys know this. Uh, the title track, born dead, open casket. Pull the plug.
Jesus, it's fucking amazing. Now, for those who don't know this, it's literally like Matt Harvey is probably by far one of the best guitar players and best guitar player vocalist that's out there. One of the best, not the best, because obviously if you want my opinion, Chuck for death metal is probably the best. Um, be, it's guitar and vocals. Um, Defenders of the Grave, Lifeless, Nightwork, Dead End, Unspeakable. I mean, the harrowing, a funeral party, like, bleh. you know, the anatomy of the anatomy act of 1832, uh, the title track, absolutely fucking fantastic. Obituary. And then of course, exhumed and death leprosy and death individual thought patterns. The only thing I need to do now is I need to acquire the sound of perseverance and some way, some fucking how, if I can ever get my hands on symbolic, that'll be fucking nice. But that's almost like trying to pull a fucking wisdom tooth with your with your bare hands and a, or a pair of fucking pliers. Motherfucker's not coming out. And of course, if you guys all know, these guys have a new record out. And if I was you, if you haven't heard that new single, I suggest you should. Fuck, it's good. Holy shit balls. I cannot wait for this record to come out. Um, I haven't pre-ordered it. I'm considering it, but I don't know. Um, am I going to get it probably opening day? Yeah. And I, it's kind of funny because I'd actually almost like to go back onto, uh, onto relapse at some point here too and, and grab a few more because, uh, yeah, I need more obituary in my life. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate that. And uh, so if you like this and you want to see more of it, subscribe hit the notification bell punch that fucking like button um yeah for more and so basically with that i'm slowly becoming a full-on death metal kid so yeah that's that and i'll see you fucker soon